Hey YouTube, this is SJM4306, and I have, you know, a few more days left on break, and then I go back. But I just got this in the mail, and I wanted to uh, show you guys uh, what it is. It's just marked as documents, interestingly enough, uh, according to the cu customs declaration. Uh, yeah, so I paid a lot more than six bucks. Well, not that, not that much more. But anyway, enough rambling. Uh, let's open this guy up. And I want to do a teardown and a, you know, product review and test. You can already see what it is. <laughs> wow, that is tiny. Uh, yeah, so this is a, uh, a miniature, uh, I believe it's the world's smallest, maybe, or maybe there's something smaller than this now. But it is a quadcopter, and that is tiny. Uh, so let's get this guy open and... Um, really want to play with this. Wow, that is tiny. Oh man, that is minuscule. And the controller itself is awesome, which is great. Uh, one of the problems that I hear a lot of people say with this uh, quadcopter is that the controller is tiny. My hands are pretty small. And, eh, it's okay. I could definitely... Uh, live with this on off switch um, these are trims for um, you know forward backwards left right I've never sp flown a quadcopter before um, a real one I've, I've flown like you know the simulation ones when you hook up your uh, your controller to the t or to a computer I've flown like uh, simulated quadcopters and I stunk pretty bad with that uh, but we'll see <laughs> my first time flying a little bit later today then um, instruction booklet um yeah seems pretty comp comprehensive and the charger cord and spare props which will probably come in handy um it's just usb um hopefully there's some kind of charge protection circuit in there or something um yep so let's get this tiny guy out yeah i got this on sale from uh forget which site it was uh, I have it bookmarked though if you guys are interested I can pull that up it was on sale for like 16 bucks and I always wanted one so it just ended up being perfect uh, blades are a little bit crooked um, yeah other than that man this is tiny Let's see if it has a charge and yes it does as uh, LEDs red and blue on there Tiny, tiny little uh, charging port in there, which it's just like a two-pin Molex that goes in there. On-off switch, and this guy has a 100 milliamp hour battery. Um, flight time, I've read roughly around, I don't know, like four to six minutes or something like that, which is reasonable for something this size. Oh my goodness, like my hands are small too, and this is just, uh, uh, let's see. Here it is on top of a spool of solder. <laughs> it's pretty much the exact same size. Oh my goodness, this thing is tiny. I could see how you could easily lose this guy. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll definitely do a little tear down. Um, have to be careful though. Um, these props do bend a bit, and that can affect flying. And if you bend the shaft on the motors, you can also mess it up pretty good that way. Wow, yeah, it comes in four different colors. Uh, let's see, orange, pink, uh, green, and blue. And greens, green or blue are pretty much both my favorite colors, so I I opted for green. Um, looks like the build quality is eh, meh. Not great, not horrible, but uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I want to I wanna play around with this. i got to grab some AA batteries, so I will be back. Yep, sorry, I uh, I think I said AA batteries. These guys take uh, two AAA batteries there, uh, just in the back. And interestingly enough, there's a hole for a screw that you could put in to prevent removing the batteries. Let's see uh, how much this guy weighs. Yep, about 13 grams. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's do a first light I have to set up the camera for that though unfortunately so let's uh, figure something out okay so I just trimmed it out paired it uh, to pair it you turn 
this guy on first turn, this guy, uh, put throttle f all the way up, you'll hear it beep, and then put it all the way down, and then you'll hear it beep again. So hopefully I can try to keep this in frame. Oh, low battery. Yep, so that was a quick first flight. Yeah, I probably should have charged that uh, before. But uh, yeah, I just got done trimming it. I haven't charged it since I opened it. And so, yeah, um, I'm going to do a little more fly and playing with this guy, and then I will do a quick teardown vid uh, after I'm done playing with it. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, I had a little bit of time to play with this. See, still getting used to it. Still a little bit, uh, not the easiest thing to fly, but, uh, fairly stable. Uh, getting out of frame there. <laughs> This is so much fun. Yeah, it's only getting a couple minutes of uh, fly time, but luckily, uh, yep, there goes the batteries. Uh, and there it goes. Yep, anyway, um, yeah, battery life, a couple minutes. It doesn't take that long. It takes like five, ten minutes to charge, if that. But anyway, it works, and it's a lot of fun. You can see it blink in there by my power strip. Uh, hard to fly accurately very low to the ground but once you get it up a couple feet it controls pretty well actually um pretty stable uh nothing horrible let me grab it ah. yeah charges quickly uh does exactly um more or less what you tell it to uh, i just need to get used to actually flying this sucker um but yeah pretty cool all in all uh really cute little little quad ah that's interesting but yeah definitely something uh wonder if that just means low battery life yeah anyway i gotta charge this i've been playing with this for the past like half hour <laughs> gets a little bit warm after flying nothing really serious so um yeah, but absolutely minuscule. Uh, once you get it like five feet up in the air, it actually is very stable once you take the time to trim it. And um, yeah, no sudden movements on the throttle. Um, I just, this is my first quadcopter, so I, I don't care for um, rotating it or anything like that. That makes it just harder to fly. But definitely I'll get a lot more practice in. Uh, I already have a few dings on some of the props, the very tips, uh, just hidden edges and whatnot. And running into things but that's why if you have like a, a large inside open area it's fun just uh you know just flying this around and trying to maneuver it around obstacles just for practice i definitely will do that and who knows i might be a pro before long so i thought i'd do one last video I, i've been practicing flying because i really stunk when i first started and i made some modifications to the controller i i replaced the the uh stock joysticks with caps that i took from an old uh little tiny PlayStation 2 game controller, so they're nice and rubberized. And in addition, the uh, controls for rotating the quad, which are normally uh, on this stick, uh, it's very difficult to rotate it without changing the um, the height of it. So I added these two little uh, rubber tack buttons on the back there to facilitate that. So let's show you guys a little bit of flight. Try to keep this in frame without hopping too much. Very stable. I've uh, trimmed it pretty well. 
and as you can see, uh, it can hover pretty stably. And there you go. Uh, the, the mod, like I said, allows you to uh, rotate the quad itself. But yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, just a little flight footage. Um, very fun toy to play with. Uh, charges up in with the supplied USB cable in like about 10 minutes or less. And I actually opened it up. I'll post pictures of uh, of the the circuitry in the cable, which isn't really much. And I have a feeling it's charging at like 400, 500 milliamps. And so given this battery, that's probably going to not be so good for the battery. So if you wanted to make this battery last a lot longer, I'd build my own. Uh, it's just a standard little two-pin Molex. I'd build my own cable for that with a uh, dedicated lithium-ion charger. Other than that, awesome toy, and I shall have more modifications and whatnot in the future. I shall put them on my site or maybe in a video. So until then, I will see you guys later.